The Canary Islands contain six active volcanoes, several of which have erupted in historic times. Thus, you might think that its most famous volcano, Mount Tide, is the site of the largest eruption while people lived on these islands. However, this is not the case. Instead, the largest eruption originated from a volcano to the east which produced a famous six-year-long eruption from 1730 to 1736. The volcano I am referring to is Lanzarote, whose aforementioned eruption covered a whopping 200 square kilometers or about one-fourth of the island in lava. This eruption was quite similar to the famous 1783 eruption of Lackey in Iceland, but was an order of magnitude smaller. Today, we know that Lanzarote is still active due to the presence of several shallow heat sources underground, one of which produces a steam-rich geyser. This video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Canary Islands can be found several hundred kilometers west of the coast of Morocco. The volcano which I will be covering in this video is located on the easternmost island, Lanzarote. The reason why this island exists is due to an ancient hotspot which is also responsible for its modern volcanic activity. This hotspot is known as the Canary Hotspot and has been slowly moving westwards, forming islands along the way and creating modern eruptions such as the ongoing eruption on La Palma. The island of Lanzarote has been intermittently producing volcanic eruptions and phases of activity for approximately 15.6 million years. After 10 million years of intermittent eruptive activity, the modern island of Lanzarote was actually three separate islands. Then, for the next 4.5 million years, this volcanic complex became dormant. Eruptive activity resumed 1.2 million years ago, which has since continued to the present day. Vast lava flows soon joined the three islands, creating a central landmass. This period of eruptive activity created a series of large explosion craters known as tuff rings. One of these, known as Caldera Blanca, measures 1140 meters wide and 133 meters deep. It formed when magma intruded into a large lake on the surface. This caused the lake water to flash to steam before subsequently generating a massive explosion, thus carving out the deep crater you see today. Later lava flows during this period created the island of Isla Graciosa. Between 91,000 and 21,000 years ago, eruptive activity in the overall volcanic complex solely occurred just south of the aforementioned island. For the next 20,000 years, no additional volcanic activity occurred. Then, in 500 AD, a new eruption occurred. As a new volume of magma reached the surface, it created a series of small explosions. These explosions continued for some time, depositing volumes of ash in a small radius and creating bombs of lava. This Strombolian-style eruptive activity created the Montana de Juan Perdomo cinder cone. 200 years later, a similar eruption occurred, which created three more cinder cones. Beginning on September 1st, 1730, the largest historical eruption in the Canary Islands began. A massive 60-kilometer-long fissure opened up in the center of the island, which erupted all at once. As millions of tons of magma poured out onto the surface, massive amounts of sulfur dioxide were released into the atmosphere. Over the next six years, this lava would go on to cover 204 square kilometers of land, burying several towns and expanding the overall island. In total, five cubic kilometers of molten rock was erupted. Some activity even occurred on the northeast section of the island, forming the Corona Lava Tube. The most recent eruption on the island occurred in 1824, but this was two orders of magnitude smaller, creating a series of three vents over a period of three months. Since then, no additional eruptions have occurred. When this volcanic complex erupts again, it could technically occur on the entirety of the island. However, such a new fissure eruption is likely to originate on the center of the island where the last four eruptions have occurred. The main hazards associated with this would be toxic gas and slow-moving basaltic lava flows. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.